All right, there we go, guys. Hopefully, you have got me loud and clear again. That was a little setting problem we had. Sorry about that. Check. Oh. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right, you do have me loud and clear. Right, then. What's been happening while I've been messing around? Let's have a quick look, shall we? Let's have a quick look then. So we still have a little bit of time left in this uh, Q1. Sorry, this uh, this quali session then. Uh, Talentless is currently uh, just under two tenths better off as BXM sets the fastest lap so far to put himself on provisional fall. Oh, with an 18-3. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, the protagonists then. Has the Red Bull got over the line? I think it has. So at 18-4. So Jian at the moment in the Red Bull in P2. Getting ready to try and claim back that pole position from the Aston Martin of BXM. Aston Martin needs some luck. They're trailing at the bottom. Two tenths slower is Jian at the moment. It's not going to work out for him. He's going to be two tenths slower. And he's had a little bit of a moment there. Coming out of that chicane into Lesbo 1 and 2 he goes then. Can he can he make some of his time up? No, he's decided to pull off to the side then. It's down to somebody like Napple in the Haas with an 18-5. The checkered flag will be... Oh, and what a mistake that was. Napple out of the race. Stretch. Stretch. Does indeed take provisional pull with an 18-3. BXM isn't going to improve. Jean is not going to improve. PSR Boots, how's he doing? 19,000 slower as he comes up to Lascari. Can he put himself in a good position, though? Doesn't look like he's gone through there with too much speed. He might be in a bit of bother here. I think he's going to be slower, slower. He is, he is, he is. Finn retires from the session. It's down to Boots, possibly Nile. Down to Boots, possibly Nile. How's Nile getting on? No, he's done as well. So Damien's done. Where's Boots? Boots is going to be much, much slower then. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's your qualification session done. Seems to not... Is it not doing frame skipping, Jack? I think I had a setting wrong on my, uh, my system, unfortunately. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the qualification session done for this round six at Monza, the Temple of Speed here in WOR. That's World Online Racing. And we're in the console divisions. It's tier three. And it looks like a McLaren has claimed top spot. And therefore pole position for this feature race around Monza. Uh, it's a lot sunnier now than it was at the start of that qualification session. So it looks like we're going to have some decent weather for the race. Which, of course, we like to see. Or do we? I do. I do have to say. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a little bit of weather. But here we go, then. It's Stretch in the McLaren on pole position with an 18.3. Only nine, sorry, 11,000 slower than it's BXM and the Aston Martin. The Red Bull of Jean is second row with Napoli in the Haas. The third row is Alpha Tauri's PSR Boots and BRT Finn in the Mercedes with Williams, Damien Carell and ET8 Lifeboat in P7 and 8, respectively. P9, it's Fetbass. 10, it's Nile. 11th, it's going to be Lurch. Uh, talentless in 12th, 13th is uh, Maris, and 14th, bringing up the rear, it's Ultra Titan. Interesting developments throughout that first qualification. Or throughout that only qualification, let's be honest. Right then, yeah, beautiful sunny skies here in Italy. The home of Ferrari, of course, Monza. Uh, be interesting to see how we get on then throughout the course of this race. Uh, we'll be restarting the lobby due to the grid penalty, says Jack. Okay. Okay, we're going to be restarting the lobby, ladies and gents, it looks like. I'll just double-check that with our Discord server. Lobby restart says now. I don't know who's called that lobby restart, but we're in. And somebody's now going to have to go through the process of... Um, 
resetting the whole lobby up. So we may well be here for some time. However, you've got me for company. Whilst we, there's a, they're actually racing right now. This will be interesting to see who has uh, listened and is doing a lobby restart or who's just going to go straight into the race because that happened very quickly. Let's just double check with the uh, restart. Oh, good Lord. They're actually just having a muck about on the restart. So we may as well tune in for that. Because as you can see, there's bits of car everywhere. Uh, yep, all over the road. Right then. Let's uh, let's get out of that then. Back to me. Back to me. I know you like to see my beautiful face. Uh, looks like we're going to be having that, that research, that, that restart. I'm having trouble speaking tonight, which is never a good sign for a commentator. Uh, right, let's uh, let's get. I'm going to get myself out of the lobby. Let's see if we can get ourselves an invite back in shortly. Uh, whilst we're doing that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nip us back onto um, the broadcast starting screen while I go and get myself a drink. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure those red flags that were flying at Monza not too long ago will be disappearing and will get us going and racing again from a, uh, a grid position relatively shortly. So bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back with you soon. Right then, I'm I'm back. They're not yet, but I am. Uh, what we will need to do is obviously get ourselves an invite back into the lobby. We have one. That's good. Uh, and we're almost ready to go again. Um, they will be setting the lobby up as we speak. Get myself into spectator mode so I'm not allocated a car because that would be horrific in this tier. Can't keep up with these guys. Um, so there's 11 of you in the lobby right now. I'm uh, interested to see who is going to win this race. Um, after that qualification session, we did obviously have uh, the McLaren of stretch on pole position. Um, I would assume that that is still the case. Um, but do we have any predictions out there in uh, WO? W-O-R world, around who is going to claim victory around the Temple of Speed this evening. That's the big question I've got for you right now. 
are we going to be in a position to pull out one of the races of the season at one of the most iconic tracks, of course? Just a little reminder for you of the track that we race on this evening. Uh, 5.8 kilometers, 3.6 miles, 11 turns. Some of the most iconic corners in Formula One, of course, with Lascari, Parabolica, uh, and of course, the notorious turn one at the end of the start stroke finish straight, where we hope that drivers take care into that turn. We've only got 14 drivers. We don't want to have 10 by the end of the first lap. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That would be good. Damien is going to cook, says Nick. Nick, um, I've seen Damien racing a few times recently, of course, having the pleasure of um, commentating on this tier. And Damien has indeed, has indeed been showing some very good pace recently. And it'd be good to see that Williams drive through. Again, let's just have a quick reminder of the standings then so we can see where these guys are. So as it currently stands, Damien, after a couple of DNFs in um, or at Imola and Azerbaijan, was showing good pace last week. He obviously showed great pace around Jeddah. Um, but as it currently stands, where is my McLaren? The other McLaren isn't even on. So Lurch, who won the first race, Stretch, who's claimed pole tonight, is currently not on that first page. So maybe it's time for him to come to the party tonight. Um, as you can see, quite a few DNFs. So the uh, the McLaren teammate Lurch, after that victory around Bahrain, um, around Sakir, is looking for a little bit of a change of look after four consecutive DNFs. It'd be nice to see him turn that around and get himself into a good point scoring position. We're, we're in the process of about to start, ladies and gents. So I'm going to get us straight in game. Um, obviously, there's no, I'm assuming now there's no qualification and that we'll be going straight into the race. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we have in store. Here we go, then. We're almost ready. As we can see in the paddock, everybody remember to put your setups on, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget your setups because that would be catastrophic and would end up in, no doubt, some type of terminal retirement um, with the majority of your car stuck in one of the walls here at Monza. So bright blue skies, then. As you can see, the fans overlooking the paddock, overlooking the pit lane, are uh, almost in raptures as uh, the guys get ready to start off this race. Only 14 drivers, but hopefully we have ourselves a good race. Um, I would suggest that we've probably got the same grid lineup that we saw previously. And that we won't be too far away as not only, of course, do the guys have to put the setups on, they have to sort out their race strategy as well. Be interesting to see what the race strategies are for some of these guys tonight. Um, do they want to start off on the hard tyre, risking that early safety car that you'd clearly stay out for until about lap six or seven? Any safety cars before that, you're probably going to stay out. Alternatively, medium runners with an early safety car may well be able to throw on the hard tyre to take them to the end. It depends what the best race tyre is around this track. Um, I have to say, with this particular game cycle, I've not been a massive fan of utilising the soft tyre around uh, some of these tracks. It doesn't seem to race well, doesn't seem to last very long, and causes problems when it comes to uh, race strategy. So, uh, 15 of the guys in now. Hope you're looking forward to this race around the iconic circuit of Monza. Uh, tier 3, WOR on console. Pretty sure they'll have their uh, have their setups and strategies done shortly, and we will be underway. 
don't think we have a formation lap. So there will be no formation lap. Apparently, there's still a glitch. Uh, although, to be fair, I've raced in lots of leagues over the course of the last few weeks, and formation lap doesn't appear to have had too many issues. Here we go. Three, four, five red lights. And it's showtime in WOR on Thursday night. Console Tier 3. Who gets a good start? BX7 with the Aston Martin gets a great start. Gets himself out into the lead. With the McLaren of Stretch being challenged by the Red Bull. And the McLaren goes sideways. Forces the Red Bull off track. Ghosting. But the... Uh, it's the Alpha Tari of PSR Boots. He's come through to claim second position then behind the Aston Martin of BXM. Great start from BXM leading into turn one. Managed to maintain and keep that going all the way throughout as Finn and Napple trade positions in the midfield with Fetbass in the Ferrari. Down towards Lesbo 1 we go then. It's BXM, Boots, Stretch, Jean, Damien, Finn, Fetbass, Talentless, Lifeboat, Lurch, Napple dropping more positions. They're down to P11. He goes. Let's have a quick look at what tyres the gentlemen have chosen for this evening's race. Exactly what I said about soft tyres shows you what I know because there are six drivers who've chosen the soft tyre to start the race on. Uh, BXM, Boots, Damien, Finn, Fetbass and Talentless all on that soft tyre, which would explain why... BXM got a great start off the line because Stretch in that McLaren has chosen to start the race on the hard tyre. We've got three other hard tyre runners in Lifeboat, Lurch and Nile with Ultra Titan battling with TTM Maris here. Round that final turn, Parabolica into the pits then goes Napple. He's had trouble off the start line and he'll be no doubt replacing a front wing then. On the long run down towards turn one then let's jump back up out in front because there isn't much time between our protagonists for that podium out in front. It's BXM, Boot, Stretch, Jean, Damien, Finn, Fetbass, Talentless, Lifeboat and Lurch. There's your top 10. Aston Martin leading Alfa Tari, leading McLaren, then Red Bull, Williams, Mercedes, Ferrari, Haas and Red Bull. Red Bull of Jean then. Not too far from challenging Stretch. Damien again, very close to him as most of our guys seem to get through that turn. Okay, we've got a McLaren slightly out of shape there. That was Lurch getting out of shape. He's then dropped off the back of the Red Bull of Lifeboat. Back out we go to the front then, as the guys navigate their way through Lascari, down towards Parabolica on this long straight. What are we going to see? It looks like setup-wise relatively equal between BXM and Boots, but we'll see now as they head down that long start finish straight down towards turn one, if there's any type of um, setup advantage as PSR Boots, who had the slip stream, pulls out to the right hand side to get the inside line into turn one. Relegates BXM down to second position with Stretch in close contention as well. Boots then takes the lead of the race in the Alpha Tari. BXM, Stretch, Jean, Damien Carell, BRT, Finn, Talentless, Fetbass, Lifeboat and Lurch. That's the top 10 on lap 3 of 27 with DRS now activated. Be interesting to see how these guys navigate their way then down towards the chicane, getting through it quite safely. Safely does it, safely does it, everybody. Well done. We did have a little bit of shenanigans into turn one on lap one, which has put Napple thrown on the soft tyre. He's now 29 seconds off the back. Got work to do, has the Haas. But it's Boots leading the way. BXM in that Aston Martin, closely followed by the McLaren of Stretch. Uh, we got ourselves a DRS train all the way back to P9 as Ultra Titan and Lurch trade positions. Ultra Titan taking the position away from Lurch then through Lascari down towards Parabolica they go. Uh, Gian and Stretch then trading positions with the Williams of Damien not too far behind. Certainly in contention for that third place and BRT Finn also only a tenth as BRT Finn does indeed take a position and Damien, Damien dives into the pit lane. That was unexpected. He's had to dive into the pits then. Maybe he's going to throw himself some hard tyres on to try and get to the end of this race. Lurch and Ultra Titan exchanging positions yet again down towards turn one. Three sec, excuse me, three seconds though the gap between Lurch and Lifeboat. P8 to P9. 
So out in front. These guys have got to get these soft tyres cooking. If that's the strategy you choose, you need to start gapping the guy on the mediums and the guy in the hards in P3 and P4. And of course, Finn, Tauntless and Fetbass will be eager, eager to make moves on the two guys on the slower, harder compound tyres. Early in the race to try and take advantage of what this soft tyre can or can't do. Boots loses P1 to BXM. Maybe these boys are just going to try and work nicely together. But TRT Jian in the Red Bull is sticking close by. Slight gap now back to Stretch. He's going to find himself under pressure from the Mercedes of Finn. Down towards Parabolica and certainly into Turn 1. There can be no doubt about that. They will all, of course, have DRS all the way down to Lifeboat. Lifeboat will be the last driver with DRS in this particular battle for these front positions. Four seconds off the pace now, Lurch, on those hard tyres. He's going to find himself under pressure. Are we going to see a move down into Turn 1? Somebody thought about it a little bit further back, though, and a Red Bull goes quite deep and allows the hard runner of Stretch to get right on that tailpipe then. Loses, um, certainly loses some time, Jan, now, as he's eight-tenths off the back of the Alpha Tower with PSR boots. Lap 5 of 27, then, here in Italy at Monza. The Temple of Speed. It's a, an Aston Martin that we have out front. Under pressure, though, from the Aston... Uh, beg your pardon. From the Alpha Tauri of PSR Boots, then. They haven't managed to drop that Red Bull of TRT Jean as he's managed to gain three-tenths back. It's only half a second between him and PSR Boots. Stretch half a second back as well. Two or three-tenths back to Finn in the Mercedes. Down they come, then. Looks to me as though um, PSR Boots... Navigates his way past. Looks like these two drivers might be trying to drive nicely together and try and work to try and gap. Try and work together, even if they're not your teammate. That's where you will find yourselves pulling your way away from the guys on the harder compound tyre. So at the end of lap five into lap six, then we've got yellow flags in sector three and we've got uh, an Aston, uh, beg your pardon, an Alfa Romeo's gone round. Looks like it's Ultra Titan's gone round. At Parabolica. Not good news for him as the Ferrari of Maris claims P9 from Lurch. 4.8 seconds now off the back of his teammate, Fetbass. So the two Ferraris flying in formation then towards the midfield. But it's BXM, PSR Boots and Gian who are close, close, close as Damien sets the new fastest lap of the race at 20.8. Into Lesbo 1 and 2 we head then. Lesbo 2 takes us on that long DRS run down towards Lascari. It seems as though most people have managed to navigate Lascari pretty well so far as uh, BXM lets PSR boots through. Good work from the two guys out in front, but not managing to impact the gap between themselves and the Red Bull in third, or indeed the rest of the field down to eighth position. Lurch picks up the first of our penalties of the day. Three seconds for his interpretation of what track limits look like. And of course, the FIA do not agree. He will be uh, carrying at least a three-second penalty then towards the back end of the race. Alpha Tauri, Aston Martin, Red Bull, McLaren, Mercedes, Haas, Red Bull, Ferrari. Ferrari now being gapped a little bit as well. So Fetbass has just dropped out of that DR DRS train. He's going to lose out. PSR boots and BXM trading positions into turn one. Very much in tune, though, is the Red Bull as the Red Bull switches towards the outside, back towards the inside of the long turn three, down towards turns four and five, which, of course, is the chicane. Is he in a position to make a move into the chicane? He's not. It's BXM, PSR boots, Gian, EPL stretch, Finn, Tauntless, Lifeboat, Fetbass, Maris. Maris. And Maris is in the gravel. He's found himself in the gravel, so Lurch has reclaimed P9 back of him. And he'll have an opportunity now to gap that Ferrari. We'll have dirty, dirty tyres. Dirty tyres. We don't like dirty tyres. Let's get back out in the front, though, because we've seen these guys exchanging positions relentlessly throughout the first six and a half, seven laps of this race. As PSR gets out of shape, then he's going to be under pressure from TRT Jean down towards turn 11, Parabolica. Very close. Lurch 
Lurch is gone. Lurch has lost it through Lascari in that McLaren. Is he going to join safely? Let's hope so. For the sake of Ultra Titan, who takes P11 from him. On this long run, then, down towards Turn 1, it's PXM, PSR Boot, Jian, Stretch, Finn, Talentless, Lifeboat. Uh, all within some kind of uh, DRS train. Look at the congestion down into Turn 1. The biggest gap we've got is three and a third tenths, then, as they go through Turn 2 and away through that next long right-hander down towards the first of our uh, challenging chicanes here at Monza. Uh, relatively good start, although Lurch has lost it yet again. Let's just have a quick check-in with Lurch. He's ghosted. Uh, he's on the grass as well. He's all over the place. That might be a damaged rear wing, ladies and gentlemen, looking at the, uh, the shape of that car. Uh, Lurch's look continues to escape him. After four DNFs on the trot, He's now in the pits again with what looks like rear wing damage, given the shape of his car then, on several occasions. Meanwhile, out in front, the gaps remain pretty steady. Lurch has left the session. So, um, hopefully Lurch will be rejoining. Let's just try and get him in. Come on, come on, come on, Lurch. Invite to my game. Hopefully he's going to stick it out because I don't think his car's been uh, DNF'd. It's still in the pits. We don't want that causing problems. There's three wide then into turn one. This could be chaos or it could be magnificent moves from Jian in the Red Bull on the medium tyre to lead the race for the first time into turn two through that first chicane. We go on the run down through the long right-hander into the second of our challenging chicanes on the night. Tiatai Jian in the Red Bull, leading the race for the first time then. BXM, PSR Boots, stretched now six tenths off the back of them in that McLaren. With BRT Finn, Taltless, Lifeboat, all within DRS range. It's now a seven car. It's a seven car DRS train with a quite substantial gap back to the Ferrari that we've seen in the dirt. It's Maris. Uh, 8.9 seconds now off the bat. He's got some work to do. We'll have to be some kind of recovery race from him if he's going to impact the top scoring points positions here at Monza. So, Jian still leads the race then. Now, we're in a bit of a quandary. If we're on soft tyres, we've got some questions to ask ourselves. Do we stick it out on that soft tyre? As Finn takes the position from stretch, soft on hard. Do we keep out on these soft tyres now? How far will they go? Will they be able to switch to the medium tyre? Do a soft to medium run, which will mean that they will have good pace towards the end. And the first of our cars into the pits then. It's uh, BXM in the Aston Martin. He's the first driver to blink. Down towards turn one we go. Lap 10 of 27 here at Monza. Jian, nine lap old medium tyres. PSR boots, nine lap old. Uh, oh, we, we've got stretch, stretch. Stretch is off at turn one. More turn one shenanigans. No yellow flags, amazingly. But that's uh, rough for Stretch because he's on that nine lap old hard tyres. He was going to be wanting to take those a long, long way and get himself out in front of these soft lap runners as BXM is still in the pit lane. Now he comes out. He, he seemed to be in the pit lane for a considerable amount of time there. Out in front then, it's Jan. PSR boots, then a 2.6 second gap. The DRS train's been broken. Is talentless in the hard in third, but he's followed quickly by BRT Finn and ET8 Lifeboat. Not too far behind them. With Stretch, 3.9 seconds, racing his own race right now. Four seconds behind as Finn and Talentless exchange positions going into Lascari. Don't see any damage on either of those cars, but Red Bull's Lifeboat. Going to make a move uh, on the outside, leading down towards Parabolica. He goes, he's going to be in close contention to challenge BRT Finn. Down that long straight, he's going to have ERS. He's got, uh, sorry, he's going to have DRS. He's got plenty of ERS left. And of course, Finn with no ERS left. He's burnt his ERS to get himself into the pits to get that change done. Will BRT Finn come out in front of BXM? That's the big call right now. Interesting to watch those guys who've pitted and where they'll come out. We'll keep our eye on that one as Jian and PSR Boots continue their battle for that top step of the podium here on lap 11. Down towards the chicane. Getting ready to... Uh, they're, they're catching up with Lurch quite quickly. To me, it looks like Lurch may or may not be back in that car. 
Hopefully his car does not cause us any drama. Probably won't for Boots. Boots will likely pit at the end of this lap. BRT Finn has indeed come out in front of uh, BXM. BXM's got Fetbass in between him. So Fetbass now on the same strat, albeit a little bit older tyres. Uh, Fetbass finds himself on the same strat as BRT Finn and BXM. Couple of laps older tyres, but still finds himself on that same strat. So here comes Boots then. No mistakes needed from Boots if he's going to pit this lap. We may well see him swing to the right-hand side. We may well not. We may see him try and take the lead of the race, utilising DRS down the long straight. Gets the job done in plenty of time, of course. Down towards turn one. Uh, Talentless also stays out. So those two guys now on 11 lap old soft tyres. Um, I would imagine that they'll be close to the edge of a very big cliff and that they'll be going off pretty shortly. We should see Jian certainly maintain pace with uh, Boots over the course of lap 12. How far is he going to take the medium tyres? Is he going to take the medium tyres to lap 16, 17 and then throw on the softs? He can see now that the softs tend to have a little bit of pace after about 11 laps. He would be finishing if he pitted on lap 11. Of course, he would be throwing some soft tyres on and hoping that they would go to the end of the race. And that they don't fall off a rather large cliff. We do have BXM and Finn then together, though. The two guys that we talked about that did pit in the last few laps, challenging each other presently for P9. And, of course, if we're going to talk about challenging, if they've done an amazing undercut on the two guys... Uh, sorry, the the uh, the eight guys out in front, we may find that right now we're looking at the two net leaders of this race. They'll be wanting to keep it clean as actually there's a little bit of contact there between uh, what looks like BXM and Finn as they're trying to chase down Ultra Titan for P8. Looks like we're going to see BRT make a move. Are we down to Parabolica? No, backs out. Does he just later on the brakes? Gets the job done. And are we going to see contact? We are. We're going to see contact. We've got three wide behind. Great view here from the rear wing of BRT, Finn and the Mercedes. He's managed to get DRS, but he's going to be under extreme pressure, surely, from the Aston Martin down into Turn 1. The Aston Martin's going to go and try around the outside. He's made the move. He's got the move done. Can he break in time? It looks like he can to get himself out in front. Aston Martin leads Mercedes then as the two Ferrari and Alfa Romeo, the Italian cars, bump wheels going through that long right-hander. One who has not pitted yet and one who has. Uh, we've got two Red Bulls out in front. By the way, PSR Boots has managed to keep himself out in front. The battle between BXM and BRT Finn has allowed PSR Boots to pit and get himself out in front of this battle. On the fresher medium tyre, it looks like he might be able to now utilise the fresh rubber to get himself down the road. He's got plenty of gap there as BRT Finn and BXM exchange positions yet again up to Lascari. Super stuff from then. Hopefully nice and clean, but they've got jobs to do now. They've got to work together to try and close that gap to PSR Boots, utilising the DRS that they'll be dragging along each other with. Or are they going to act selfish and just try and get and break that tag? That is the next question. As Talentless, the next of our drivers on the soft tyre, he dives into the pit lane. He's going to lose multiple positions while he's in the pits, though, as PSR Boots flies past him. BRT Finn flies past him. BXM flies past him. Talentless is going to leave the pit lane in approximately 10th position. There he goes then, as Ultra Titan does indeed go through, but of course, Ultra Titan yet to pit. Uh, four guys out in front yet to pit. There now, Gian, Lifeboat, Maris, and Nile. Red Bull, Red Bull, Ferrari, Alpine. The gap being closed by PSR Boots to Niall, no doubt. 2.3 seconds. Let's keep our eyes on that gap. Lap 14 of 27. We're over the halfway point in this race. There's almost a little mistake there. Talentless on the fresh rubber does indeed get past Ultra Titan for P9. PSR Boots then eroding that gap out in front of him. It was 2.4 at the start of the lap. It's now 1.4. A second in two sectors. What can he do then towards the back end round Things like Ascari are going to allow him to take a few tenths off. Surely, yes, they do. Another half a second disappears. So he's hot on the heels 
of now the nail. Just got to keep his composure here and keep driving till he thinks he can whiz onto maybe some soft tyres. We have not had any. It doesn't hold his nerve. He dives in. He's dived into the pits. He's going to go hard medium, surely, from here as BRT, uh, uh, sorry, Finn and BXM both go through. Now, in the pit lane, losing multiple positions, currently sees himself in 10th. Won't come out in 10th, though. Probably going to come out in 12th or 13th as Napple parading himself down that, uh, down that straight. Uh, where's the penalties? Three seconds then. Only two only two sets of penalties so far. It's quite impressive from Maris and Lurch. Well, it's impressive from everybody else. Those are the only two guys with penalties as it currently stands. Uh, positions changed. What have we seen positions change-wise then? Who's the big winner? The big winner is Maris. Of course, he's not pitted yet and will lose possibly all ten of those positions when he dives into the pit lane. Uh, big loser stretch so far and of course Lurch who I'm absolutely convinced hasn't rejoined the race um, as we see Boots go through on Maris then and Maris moved over to the left hand side of the track and allowed Boots through realises that's not his race to run right then so Boots will no doubt claim P1 when Jian and Lifeboat Lifeboat's in the pit lane 15 lap old hard tyres 15 lap old medium tyres by the way for Jian. So he's just started lap 16. Um, he will no doubt be losing time. Where's Lifeboat going to come out? Lifeboat, he's going to come out probably around about P10. Is There's cars just leaving the pit lane now. Stretch is going to there. Oh, Damien's into the pits, is he? No, Ultra Titan's into the pits. And Lifeboat actually just about gets out in front of Stretch then. Fresher medium tyres, but of course they are going to be cold. So that might allow Stretch to gain a little bit of better grip through this uh, Sector 1 and Sector 2 levels of chicane. So out in front without pitting just yet, it's Jian, 15 lap old, medium tyres, PSR boots then, the net leader of this race, 18.3 seconds off the back of the Red Bull. Maris yet to pit with a three second penalty as well. He's going to need to pit relatively soon. Otherwise, he's going to be losing multiple amounts of time. As BRT Finn and FRT BXM, again, exchange positions on the way down to Lascari. Through they go. Finn seems to carry much better pace through Lascari. They're on the back of uh, TTM Maris down towards Parabolica. Into the pits goes the leader of the race then, Jean. Throwing on the soft tyre. Not massively surprising. 18 seconds was the gap when he went into the pits. He's going to come out definitely in second place. Possibly third or fourth. But he's going to have fast rubber. He's going to have fresh tyres. Where's he going to come out then? As he heads down towards turn one. He's currently sat in P5. He's going to retain P5. He's got an opportunity to warm those tyres up pretty quick though. One second off the back of BXM. Finn. Five tenths off the back of Marish, yet to pit. So as it currently stands, we've got an Alpha Tari in P1. Let's take a quick look at the leader gap, because this could be instrumental in understanding that 5.2 second gap between our new soft tyre runner in the Red Bull, TRT Jean, and the leader of the race, PSR Boots, on four lap old medium tyres in that Alpha Tauri. So currently as it stands, the podium will be BSR Boots, BRT Finn and FRT BXM72. But I would imagine that TRT Jean will be hunting them down with uh, ten and a half laps to go in this 27 lap race. Interestingly, Gian has already just made his way into Lascari, past the Aston Martin. That was a that was a, a move I wish I'd caught, quite frankly, but I missed it. So apologies to Gian for that. But it looks like his tyres are cooking as he gets much better grip on the inside of Parabolica to take P3 away from Maris, who still persists and maintains out on this lap, lap 17, as we're going to see Jean make a move on Finn down into turn one. Through goes the Red Bull, gets the job done with ease, and it's up to Finn and BXM now to try and chase him down and hope that those soft tyres go off a lot quicker than they thought. So the gap that was 5.2 seconds as uh, BXM gets around Maris as well. He's got to pit shortly. He's got to pit. Jean then 
The gap that was 5.2 seconds at the start of the previous lap when he came out of the pits is now 4.1 seconds. He's going to have much superior grip. Certainly in the early stages of these soft tyres then on lap 18 of 27. Plenty of time to go. Plenty of time for change, of course. As we always say in sim racing, patience is a virtue because we know that safety cars can come out at any given time. All it takes is a mistake from a driver and a wing to spiral through the air and we will cause problems and safety cars. Talentless picks up P5. Good drive from him so far. Good recovery drive, I think, from that particular harsh driver. Napple still struggling at the back there on those secondary set of soft tyres. TRT Jean sets the fastest lap of the race then. A 20.5 for him. 3.6 seconds now the gap to the back of the Alpha Tari of PSR boots on lap 19. Talentless takes another position. He steals P4 from the car of the Aston Martin's BXM. Lifeboat takes Maris. Maris still persisting with 18 lap or medium tyres. Ladies and gentlemen, it's brave, but bravery doesn't always get you what you want. 3.3 seconds the gap. Plenty of time to go in this race, though. The podium isn't yet decided, and certainly the top step of the podium isn't decided. BXM, no doubt, going to want to try and fight back. He's on older rubber, of course. He's on nine lap old medium tyres versus the five lap old medium tyres of Talentless. So that may well cause him an issue. And he's going to have Lifeboat for company then on much fresher tyres as Maris loses yet another position, this time to stretch on fresher tyres. Going backwards, Maris may as well be in reverse. Uh, Jeanne's managed to put himself 3.2 seconds down the road, by the way, um, against that car of Finn. Lifeboat does indeed not only put BXM under pressure, but takes P5. BXM also in reverse now, manoeuvring his way down the grid as opposed to up the grid. Much better grip for the Red Bull. So two Red Bulls at present with good grip. Can we see two Red Bulls on the podium? Can we see two Red Bulls on step one and two? We're getting closer to that because Lifeboat does indeed take P4 from Talentless down the long home straight, gets the job done, and now he can focus his attention on the back of the Mercedes. We've said we've seen that before, haven't we? We've read that book. We've seen that movie. Red Bull trying to chase down a Mercedes. To be fair, it's normally everybody's trying to chase down the Red Bulls, but hey... Let's just leave that little bit out. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Uh, PSR Boots then still leading the way, persisting on these medium tyres. He will persist, of course, because he doesn't want to pit now because that Red Bull of TRT Jean is only 2.3 seconds behind him. Interestingly, that gap is coming down all the time and the gap between Jean and Finn is growing all the time. Finn going to find himself under some extreme pressure then. As the guys go through Lascari, Mercedes Red Bull Haas, down through the two uh, big long chicanes. I think I think we can call Lascari a chicane, can't we? Down towards Parabolica they go. Uh, trying to fly in formation. No moves. Has a little peek on the inside, does the Red Bull. But uh, does a good job of just taking a look and maybe trying to have a, a quick... Um, Double check. I mean, he's got plenty of ERS. He's, he's boosted with ERS, but he's, he's taken e uh, DRS and he's going to get the move done in plenty of time. So as we said, then two Red Bulls currently sat on the podium with six laps, sorry, seven laps of this race left to go. The gap almost into DRS territory for the Red Bull of Jean. Is the Red Bull of Lifeboat going to be able to close down the gap on PSR boots. I think what we're going to be saying here right now is that Jean looks odds on, nailed on to secure first position on track in this race, possibly before the start of lap 22. Still a good race though. That's what we like to see. Anything can happen. Lap 21 of 27. It's Monza. It's Temple of Speed. It's WOR and it's console tier three. These guys have put on an absolute display of driving, I was just about to say, with very little penalties. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We said it's not over yet. We said anything can happen. We said that it was still a long way to go. And Ultra Titan loses his car on lap 21, which means we've got pit lane 
action as Boots and Jean both dive into the pits for fresh rubber. Lifeboat, the same. BRT Finn, Tauntless, BXM, Stretch. Fet Bass, no doubt going to dive in for some fresh soft tyres with those 12 lap or medium tyres on. Nile, no doubt as well. TTM Maris may well be able to stay out on those tyres, but he may well also lose, uh, not gain many positions. Because, of course, under safety car conditions, he's got to drive slow. Otherwise, he's going to challenge the Delta. He dives in anyway. Absolutely gobsmacked by that. He's got one lap all soft tyres on, and he's decided to pit. Incredible scenes here in Italy at Monza. Um, I'm absolutely I'm gobsmacked. I'm so surprised by that. With not much racing left, uh, Lurch is definitely disconnected. He didn't come back, left his car out on track, unfortunately for him. Um, we've got PSR boots then. This is your standings under safety car conditions on lap 22 of 27 for the Italian Grand Prix here in WOR World Online Racing. If you didn't know, of course you knew. Of course you knew. Uh, so PSR boots currently sat um, in P1 on track. Everybody fresh softs all the way down to Napoli who's uh, retained his position on those seven-lap old softs um, currently, uh, lap 22. So, PSR boots, it's then the Red Bull of TRT Jean. Mercedes, BRT Finn, it's a Mercedes sandwich with two slices of Red Bull bread as well, as we see ET8 Lifeboat in P4. It's talentless, um, still a good drive from him in P5 in that house with Stretch uh, in the McLaren. Um, in P6. BXM in the Aston Martin P7 with the Ferrari of Fetbass P8. Nile in the Alpine P9 with Maris P10 in the second of the Ferraris. We've then got Napoli in P11 on seven lap hold soft tyres. I'm surprised he's not come in. Maybe we'll see him come in right now. Who knows? Uh, then Damien, who somebody said earlier on was going to cook. He's not cooking at the minute. He's down in P12. And then, of course, we've got Lurch who has disconnected from the game and will get disqualified. Um, and, of course, our one... Our one... Um, yeah, in comes Napple to the pits. Our one DNF for the night, unfortunately, for Ultra Titan. Ultra Titan DNFs on lap 21 of 27. So, all still to play for them. The game is not up. PSR Boots gets uh, another life. Now, not being put under pressure by a driver on much fresher, softer compound, faster tyres, they're going to be on equal footing. Um, we're on lap 23. Hopefully, hopefully, Napple can get to the back of this pack um, as quickly as possible. Um, if Napple can get back to the back of this pack, we might go racing again on lap 24. But we haven't got very far to go. So it may be that we do lap 24 under safety car conditions. Lap 25 and 26. And then we might have DRS on lap 27. Wouldn't that be a way to showcase this tier and the uh, potential calamities carnage that can happen in two? We've talked about turn one, lap one. How about turn one, lap 27, ladies and gents, with DRS activated again for that final lap? It's going to be an interesting last session in this race. Do not go anywhere. And by the way, when you don't go anywhere, go and get your mum and dad, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, any pets you might have, and of course, any long-distant friends and relatives, and make sure that they join us. Because we're going to see an absolute show. Because that's what we put on at WOR. We put on a show. It's not just a race, and it's not just a stream. It's a show. Hopefully a good show. Let's, uh, let's keep our fingers and toes crossed for a good finish to this race. We are going to have one more lap under the safety car conditions, of course. It is going to happen. That's okay. That is all good. So, um, who's feeling lucky? Who is feeling lucky and thinks that they can call the winner of this race? Equal footing on the top 
11 drivers. Bear in mind, remember last week, Napoli was in a similar position in similar circumstances on the final lap at Canada. And there was carnage and he finished second. So remember that little show that we had last week. These guys, like I said, they put on a show. Let's see what we can do then. We're going to get lap 25, lap 26 and lap 27. Green flags, let's hope. We won't get another safety car. Um, I don't know whether we get another virtual safety Anybody in chat think we can get another virtual safety car? I don't know. But anyway, race control. The safety car is coming in this lap. There's a couple of little gaps here that if I'm these drivers, I want to be closing up towards the back very, very quickly. We do have the car of Lurch, of course. It is ghosted, thank the Lord. But we do have the car of Lurch sat in between Jian and Boots. So if I'm if I'm uh, Jean, I've got to try and get on the back of that thing. That this could cause problems. Now, also if I'm uh, Boots, I go early. If I'm Boots, I go early, and he's gone. There he is, because Jean can't pass this car. Maybe he can. I don't know. Until the timing line, it's gone anyway. It's long gone. So here we go then, lap 25 of 27, safety car restart, it's Boots in the Alpha Tari on the way down to turn one with a 7 tenth gap back to Jian in the Red Bull. TRT picks up that 5 second penalty, that will get removed ladies and gentlemen. BRT Finn in the Mercedes, it's Lifeboat in the second of our Red Bulls then. I'm losing my mind, I can't speak, I can't speak. PSR Boots leading the way, lap 25 and 27, plenty of racing left to go. Don't go anywhere because we're going to have an absolute grandstand finish to this Italian Grand Prix around Monza in console tier three. It's PSR Boots in the Alfa Tari out in front, leading the Red Bull of TRT Jan, who again leads by eight tenths. That's quite a big substantial gap for this far into a safety car restart back to the Mercedes BRT Finn is the ET8 lifeboat who's going to find himself under pressure from Talentless, no doubt. Who's got a little gap behind him because Stretch in the McLaren seems to have made a stretch too much. And there he goes. He stretches too much again. His interpretation of track limits. We don't know who's going to win this race. We don't know who's going to finish first, second or third. We don't know who's going to finish on the podium. Confettas in that Ferrari, the penalty-less the penalty-less? Is that a word? Penalty-less Ferrari of Fetbass. Can he make moves? So, Jean then sets the fastest lap of the race. A 19-2 on that soft tyre. He's right on the tailpipe as Lifeboat makes it a Red Bull double podium at present then. Stretch and BXM fighting the way into turn one through turn two. Stretch comes out on top in that miniature battle then. P6 for him, P7 for BXM. But it's PSR Boots out in the lead of the race. And BXM, as much as he'd done and come out on top, he's now out of the race. That is disastrous. And it's Lurch, uh, sorry, Stretch, that he's come together with throughout that long right-hander down towards the first, um, sorry, second of our challenging chicanes. So out in front then, no virtual safety car. Thankfully, the penultimate lap of this 27-lap race here at Monza. PSR Boots, G Gian, Lifeboat, Finn, Talentless, Fet Bass, Niall Just. Let's just have a quick look at leader because that'll be interesting. At the minute, Fet Bass may be able to get himself on the podium. He needs a good lap 27. He's got to have a good lap 27 and he's got air in front of him while the cars out in front of him are going to be battling. Jian takes the lead of the race then. That five second penalty that he currently holds will no doubt be removed but Lifeboat with five and BRT Finn with five. Five for Talentless as well. Where did those five second penalties come from and will they get removed? Who knows? Fetbass could find himself provisionally on the podium here as Niall loses positions down into turn one and turn two. Final lap of the race then. Lap 27 of 27. It's Jian leading the race. That five second penalty, we've said it before, we'll say it again, will get removed. Four tenths then back to PSR Boots. Lifeboat in P3. We've got gap to leader, not gap as Niall. Niall makes a mistake into the... Um, he made a mistake. Did he make a mistake? I don't know whether he made a mistake or just lost some positions.
Here we go then. End of Sector 2, start of Sector 3. Can Boots fight back to claim the win? He gets a little bit out of shape. Going to send himself off the track, and that should leave TRT Jan to completely wipe the floor. Lifeboat is going to make the move on PSR Boots, but also carries a five-second penalty. Will that penalty stand up? It's going to be Jan, though, on lap 27 of 77. 27 of 27. To carry the Red Bull to victory on track. It's suggesting that PSR Boots has won the race, but Jan should come out on top. Fet Bass then does indeed claim himself a podium. We set it a couple of laps out, and he's made it happen. He's made it true. Great drive from Fet Bass in that Ferrari. Super stuff all round tonight. Well done. Um, disappointing with some of those penalties. It'd be interesting to see when they get submitted, whether or not um, it was speeding in the pit lane, whether they're... when you pick up that speeding in the pit lane penalty, of course, it can be because you got bumped in the rear end um, and over the uh, the line. We uh, we shall wait to see if that is indeed the case. We shall wait to see if that's the case. Uh, there we go then, ladies and gentlemen. It's showing currently a Ferrari, is it? On the, no, it's not showing a Ferrari in the top step. It's showing an Alfa Tower in the top step. So this is your provisional classification of this race before the uh, the stewards get involved and penalties get reviewed. It's the Alfa Tower of PSR Boots who is currently on the top step of the podium. It's then TRT Jan in the Red Bull with the Ferrari of Fetbass finishing off our podium positions. Red Bull again, it's Lifeboat in P4 with Finn in P5 in the Mercedes. The Haas of Napel in P6 with Niall in the Alpine P7. The Haas of Talentless in P8. P9 is occupied by the Williams of Damien. TTM Maris after that too long stint, I think, um, in P10 of the Ferrari. Two McLarens back to back, Stretch and Lurch. Lurch will no doubt get disqualified. And then it's BXM, Aston Martin. And, of course, Ultra Titan in the Alfa Romeo, who didn't finish the race. So, um, I suppose I better put my earpiece back in, because if we're going to do some interviews, we're going to do some interviews, it'd be good to have the guys on board. <clears throat> let's have a quick look, then. Um, let's have a quick look. Good Lord, let's stop that noise. Let's stop that noise. Uh, do we have anybody waiting for said interview? Not at present. Not at present. So let's just throw my camera on for a moment and get rid of the standings. Uh, let's just wait to see if we have any drivers coming through for an interview tonight. Um, I hope you'll agree. Another fas fascinating race in WR Console Tier 3 tonight. Um, again, we didn't know who was going to win until the very end. And quite frankly, we still don't know who's going to win this race with that penalty for TTM Jian uh, caused by uh, a car left out on track by Lurch, either because he disconnected or he decided to rage quit. Um, we will have to wait and see uh, what the stewards say about that one. Um, let's have a quick look then. Have we got anybody waiting for an interview? We do not have anybody waiting for an interview just yet. Uh, not to, not to worry. They're all getting removed anyway, says Lifeboat. Oh, that'll be everybody picking up the five seconds. Everybody picked up the five seconds for getting past Lurch before the timing line. Yes. All those five-second penalties will no doubt get removed. Um, what an interesting finish to the race. What an interesting finish to the race. Uh, well, doesn't look like we've got anybody coming through for an interview at this present moment in time. We will wait a couple of moments. They're obviously just letting off a little bit of steam in the chat. Uh, let's see if we get anybody to come through. But a good finish of the race. Uh, next weekend, by the way, let's just take a quick look at those standings again because that's going to tell us where we're going next weekend. Uh, we're off to Austria by the look of it. That looks like Austria to me, round seven. Another short track. 
another short track. Uh, track. So again, during qualification, we we should see some qualification times looking pretty tight between these guys. There's some serious pace in this tier. Goodness gracious knows what tiers one and two are like. If the pace in this tier um, is what it is. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, I, I guess, ladies and gentlemen, that we don't have everybody coming through for an interview, which is a shame. Um, but I'd like to thank each and every single one of you for uh, coming through tonight to support these tier three drivers. Um, next week, please come back again. If you've been here tonight, please come back again. We do have some good races. If you're watching the recording, please come back and watch us live. Let's get those numbers bumped up. The guys that are racing tonight are racing so well. They deserve to have their race watched live. Um, I'll do my bit. I'll put out some socials. But please make sure you come back and tune in next weekend as we tackle the, um, the short track at Austria with these, uh, these drivers. They've done, they've done a magnificent job again this week. And uh, I'm looking forward to calling it next week. Time for a little word from one of our sponsors. And then it's good night from me. I hope you have a magnificent rest of the week. I know it's only Thursday, but the weekend is fast approaching. And my little kind of takeaway from tonight is don't leave your car out on track because you cause penalties. However, well done to everybody that's come through and finished the race. We're yet to find out who's going to win. I think it's going to be Gian. Well done to him. Well done to Lifeboat as well. Red Bull. We've seen domination from Red Bull once or twice too many times in, in my liking. However, in sim racing, in console tier three, it's nice to see them in one and two again, I think. Maybe one and three, who knows. But nice to see the guys claiming some good positions and good points. That will only extend their lead at the top of the constructors' standings. Good night from me. Take care. Look forward to seeing you all again next Monday, uh, next Thursday. It's Thursday, isn't it? Please tell me it's not Monday. It's not Monday. See you again next Thursday. I've been Andy Owen. This has been W-O-R. Good night.